What's going on, buddy? My name is Elprin. Welcome back to yet another reaction reaction today. I got another SCPs of Sodor, the Standing Stones for you. Now, this video came out last week, and I just didn't get a chance to record yet. I mean, I recorded, but I just never got to this video, because by the time I was finished recording, this video had come out. Speaking of recordings, um, this was originally going to be a different video. Because this is supposed to be reaction video 226. There was actually an original video I had for this one. But because of, of uh, copyright music, the video keeps getting blocked. And it was another uh, death battle video that I uh, had recorded last week. For some reason, they just keep getting blocked. Aside from that one video I uploaded a, a while ago. So... If you're wondering where Reaction Video 215 is, that's why. Because it's blocked and I cannot, for some reason, change it. Even though it says the, I give it to me an option to change to fix it, and it just won't. So, if you're ever, if you guys are wondering where Reaction Video 215 is, that is the explanation. And there will never be a Reaction 215 on this channel, sadly. But. With that being said, guys, we're going to go ahead and get into today's reaction video in 3, 2, 1, a boom. Oh god, that's loud. Zodor, 9, Reign of King Godric? Alright. Hi, Bailey. Standing stones. What the hell? Okay, that was weird. Why were they there? Waterton, nineteen sixty four. Fine. A dead body? Oh boy. And more symbols. This time about the standing stones. Now this is their new military base? In the Scarlowe really? Looks like it. Report. Chemical analysis of the soil indicates the bones have been in the ground for about a thousand years. The skeleton is male, early 40s, and of Scandinavian descent. Scandinavian? Oh my god! Could it be him? Who? Godred! Oh, so this is what the legend meant by him disappearing. That's why it's called a legend, Agent Potter. The skeleton's <laughs> heritage aside, what makes you think it's Godred? This object, sir, it matches the description of an item known as the Rock of Godred. It was supposedly found during construction of a bridge across the Elves River. I see. I'm no expert, but that pictogram in the middle looks like the Standing Stones, and those symbols resemble the ones on the cave. Are they ancient Sudrian? Yes, sir, and I've been keeping up on studying the language, but there is a problem. As you can see, the rock has been damaged. Some of the text is missing. I'll only be able to provide a partial translation. Do what you can and keep me informed. In the meantime, Agent Potter, I have an assignment for you. We've received word Old Bailey has been spotted along the Brendan branch. I want you to take a team over there and search for him. My pleasure, sir. I'm eager to Just thank you for breaking Bailey. my ribs. Careful, Agent Potter. Do not make the same mistake as Agent Lang. I won't, sir. I'm assuming he'll oh, only God. be out and about if there's fog. How are we going to stop him from getting away like last time? The Foundation has provided us with a mobile jammer that's been effective against anomalies with teleportation abilities. We'll see if it works against him. If it does, take him alive. Not exactly subtle. Just setting up a jammer. <laughs> I mean, it's in view of the railway. Wouldn't the SCP Foundation be more, um, secretive about it? I'm sorry, guys. I'll be sure to cut out that sneeze. Oh, God. Woke me up a lot more, though. 
Call. Oh, the that night. Oh, so we're right up to where we were previously. From the last episode of uh, season four. It. Oh, yes, sir. But on the upside, the jammer works when it's got enough juice. The techs are working on improving its battery right now. Very well. Dr. Hatley, you said you finished the translation. Yes, sir, and it is only partial. It reads, open wide the gates of... Gates, you say? Is that what the Standing Stones were to the ancient Sudrians? It's possible, sir. We don't know a great deal about them. The only solid information we have on the stones is that's where the kings of Sodor were crowned, with Godred being the last one. Didn't his heirs keep up the tradition? He didn't have any. Well, none that lived. And after he disappeared, the kingdom fell into civil war and destroyed itself. How'd he die anyway? His neck was broken. How that happened, I have no idea. It's irrelevant anyway. We should focus on the stones. Our last experience with ancient Sudrian revealed a very powerful anomaly. Prudence demands we should investigate and take the necessary precautions. Prudence? Huh? Ah. Oh. <clears throat> I don't know. Oh, so they're going to do some testing with the standing stones. Are you stone. able to tell us anything more about the stones, Dr. Hatley? Only that they consist of exactly 50 pieces, sir. Have you studied them that closely? I've been here several times over the... Dr. Hatley? Dr. Pierce, there's a transmission coming in from the base. They said it's important. I'll be right there. Are you alright, Gwen? Sorry, I just had a strange thought about the missing word. Time. So, open wide the gates of time? Oh. <laughs> what was that? I have no idea. Dr. Pierce, did you hear that? Dr. Pierce? Oh, it Dr. sent Pierce? them back in time. Gavin? Anyone? What the hell? Where did everybody go? Where did everything else go? The rails, the station, the jeeps, the lake? It's all... What was that? Bear. What the? A, a dinosaur? What? Open wide the gates of time. All really, right. Luna? It looks like it's gone. It being a dinosaur, a Tyrannosaurus <laughs> Rex, which had been extinct for 65 million years. Oh my god, Angus. We've traveled through time. I figured that much. Has it happened again? <laughs> I think so. I still don't see any of our people or... You smell that? Smoke. Wait, listen. What is that sound? What? Okay, why is Yamato there? <laughs> I've seen the movie. Just so you guys know. That's why I recognize that. hell was that? I don't know. I don't know about any of- Ow. Bloody hell, where are we- Oh 
Open wide the gates of time. Wait, so I've barely been using the fog this whole time. Not the fog, the sanding stones. Sorry about that. These things have a mind of their own if you're not careful. Are you saying there's a way to control them? Of course. Don't you know how? Come to think of it, who are you? We're archaeologists. Oh. Oh. You found the rock, didn't you? Yes. What do you know about it? The name is misleading. Godra didn't find it. I did. This was before the Danes invaded. When they were about to take over the island, I sabotaged the rock to make sure they couldn't read it. How'd you find out what the missing word was? An unlucky guess. Please, can you help us get back to our own time? Of course. If you want to visit a specific date, all you have to do is think about it before saying the words. It's that simple? Yes, it is. And if you don't think of a specific date and say the words, the stones will take you wherever. I prefer that method of travel makes it more exciting. I take it you've done this a lot, enough that I learned English and... Oh bollocks, the attack has started. What attack? The Britannic Republic is launching an assault against the Fifth Reich. You'd think after seven world wars humanity would have had enough. I'm sorry, what? There's no time to explain. I'm needed on the front line. I suggest you leave. Remember, think of the date and you'll get back. Good luck. Thank you. What's your name? I've had a lot over the years. You can call me Jack. Jack Bailey. <laughs> Was that? Never mind. You think this will work? I don't know, but what have we got to lose? Nothing, I guess. All right, let's give it a go. Okay. <sighs> Open wide the gates of time. <laughs> well, it makes a lot of sense. Dr. Hatley? I mean, Dr. Murphy? it doesn't actually. Did you hear a strange noise? What's wrong? An actual time machine. This is phenomenal. Congratulations, you two. We didn't really do anything, sir. On the contrary, you made an important discovery and gathered invaluable data. I'm especially intrigued by this stranger you met. You think it was old Bailey? More like young Bailey, sir. But yes, I do. And if he's able to move through time, perhaps that's how he's been able to avoid us. Indeed. Our list of questions for him grows longer. Hopefully, we'll have answers soon. What do you mean, sir? That message we received at the Stones was a report old Bailey will be patrolling around Sudwin tonight. The forecast is heavy fog. Agent Potter is over there now and Installing the jammer. With any luck, we'll finally capture that elusive fogman. Fogman? Fogman. No. No, it. It can't be. But it would make. Oh my god! I'm an idiot! What do you mean? What? You know the old saying, what's in a name? The answer is a lot. We often take for granted that names have evolved from words that have other meanings. Mine means white, yours means one strength, and what's your first name, Dr. Pierce? That's irrelevant. What's your point, Dr. Hatley? My point is that all this time I've overlooked the fact that Fogman has a direct translation into Old Sudrian. And if I'm right, then I know who Jackson Bailey really is. Who? Caldy! What? <laughs> yes, it seems our mysterious Fogman was actually Sodor's most infamous king, but he denies being a tyrant. Do you believe him? Maybe. History is written by the victor, and the legend really is the only source we have on what happened during that time. Coldy claims he wasn't a dictator, but he admits he was negligent. After discovering what the stones could do, he became more interested in traveling through time than ruling a kingdom. Sodor was easy pickings when the Danes invaded. Does that mean the entire legend is a lie? That was always a possibility, but the rock is is very real. They found it and some bones during construction of the Little Western. I remember that. The island was buzzing at the idea they found King Ori's remains. Had they? <laughs> By all indications, yes. Any idea how he died? According to Coldy, Godred's reign wasn't exactly peaceful. He spent most of it putting down rebellions. During one of these, he was flung from his horse and broke his neck. What happened to his remains after they were found? The bones were reburied and the rock is on display at Peel Godred. And before you ask, there is writing on it, but nobody has any idea what it says, but it does have a pictogram of the Standing Stones. You don't think they're a time machine, do you? Honestly, no. That sounds a little too far-fetched. But it they did install a, a fence around the stones though. in 64, and that was the same year Old Bailey disappeared. He did? Yes, while on patrol along the Scarlowy Railway. He was never seen again. But if you believe the wiki, that's because he joined... <laughs> 
Oh, thank God. We're free! And not a moment too soon. Shiver me timbers, the yard is going to be a mess. Typical this would happen the same week our shipping contract is up for renewal. Then we'll have to push ourselves hard to keep it. But if anyone's up to the challenge, we are. Come on, everyone. We'll show them what the Northwestern Railway is capable of, or my name isn't Edward Sawyer. Sawyer? If you think I'm going anywhere with you, mate, you're mistaken. Don't make this harder than it has to be, Mr. Bailey. Or would you prefer your majesty? It's been a long time since anyone's called me that. Who we are have, you? We still have MI6, of time. BRD, SCP Foundation? You're the Foundation, aren't you? Wait, does that mean... Ah, this must be how I joined you. You join us? Yep, right after I tell you the truth about Sodor's past and my fog walking ability. I'm guessing that means you're Gwen Hatley and you're Rodney Pierce. Which one of you is... Hang on, are you Gavin Potter? Uh, yes? Oh, uh, sorry about the ribs, mate. You will be by the time I'm through with you, Grandad. Say that again. No, he will not. What is it, Agent Potter? <laughs> We've gotten word there's been activity at the stones. Someone has just come through. Who? Another Bailey? Seems likely. What? Well, this was unexpected. Identify yourself, of course. Jonathan Starr, former director of LNER Soda Operations, but you can call me Godred. What? Excuse me? Oh, shoot. Hold on a minute. <laughs> That just threw me for a loop. So Mr. Star has been Godred this whole time? That... What? <laughs> I am both left baffled and confused. I hope that's not the last video. I have to check um, the community tab that... Uh, Victor uh, you know what? I'll check now. Hold on. Okay. So I checked the community tab just now, and it's the, is indeed the last episode of the SCPs of Sodor. So sadly, this is where my Victor Trans reactions come to an end until season five. <laughs> when that comes out, it's probably sometime next year. Um, but, but with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed my last reaction to the SCPs of Sodor. And... Well, I'll continue to do do uh, Victor Transic stuff in the future, but I'll only be reacting to his uh his uh, mini series stuff and his stories of Sodor stuff. No shorts on this channel. <laughs> but with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed my reactions to Victor Transic, and I will see you in the future. Bye.